Fine. So all of us talk about scaling up, growing up. How many of you have heard of Snapdeal? Show of hands. Good. How many of you have heard about MongoDB? Good. How many of you have heard about problems? Good. How many of you have not heard about Aerospike? Good. So, yeah, you haven't heard about Aerospike, you have heard about Snapdeal. Go to Google, do Aerospike, Snapdeal, or do Snapdeal, no SQL. You'll get the results that I'm talking about. So, Snapdeal was using MongoDB servers. They, they were using 10 MongoDB servers. I don't remember the exact configurations, but yeah, they were using 10 MongoDB servers. Uh, they were hitting about 10K TPS, that is 10,000 transactions per second. They were having problems in growing up. I mean, MongoDB was a pain. So they started benchmarking with 20K TPS. They benchmarked lots of stuff, lots of stuff being, uh, say, Cassandra, say, Redis, say, any NoSQL thing that you can think about. They tried, to, tried them all. None of them worked. Then they started using, or rather trying out, Aerospike. They didn't come to us. I work for the company. They just went to the website, they downloaded the free community edition. The community edition supports two nodes, 200 GB, no restrictions on features or performance. They started using it. And what they found that they did not do, need two servers. They just needed one. But still they went for two, why? Simple reason, redundancy. One node goes down, application is fine, the physical machine goes down, they need two. That's the reason they went in for two. They were benchmarking for 20K TPS. All of a sudden, I think around New Year's, yeah, they hit about 50 to 70K transactions per second. They were worried. Had they been on MongoDB, they would have gone down. They were on Aerospike. Can anyone make a guess how many nodes they added immediately? I mean, 20K TPS, two nodes, so say 70K TPS, how many nodes? Quick maths. Five, seven. Okay, vote of hands for five. Actually, they added no servers. Two nodes were more than enough to handle their peak, or rather, the sharp rise of 50K. Uh, okay, so, unfortunately, everything is... Okay, so this is like a press release that we did. You can go and read up about it. And, yeah, another press release somewhere. Snapdeal. And I'm sorry, I'm like trying to figure out on this low resolution where things, but okay. Okay. Yeah. So basically, let's go to the reason why I, as a DevOps, okay, love Aerospike. I used to work for Yahoo before joining Aerospike. I mean, out there, things things are good, things scale up. For me, a large-scale installation was anything between, say, I mean, it had to be a three-digit number of servers for it to count as a large-digit number. When I came to Aerospike, I, I was talking to the lead out here, and he, he, told us, he told me that the biggest installation Aerospike had was about 24 nodes in a cluster. I was like, okay, is that large? Like, yes. How many transactions are they handling? Uh, per node, about 70 to 80k transactions per second in production. So yeah, that's the kind of number. But then again, th these are production numbers. We went to benchmarking recently, we, we launched Aerospike 3, and they're the kind of numbers we are dealing with. Uh, a quick guess on how many numbers we are doing in, say, in labs, just in memory database. So 50 to 70k transactions in production. In labs, how many? 120, 500, 700? We do a million transactions per second just in memory, in labs. In, and that's in memory, just in memory, not persistent. With persistent storage, we use SSD as raw devices directly. There are uh, no added file system on top of it. So if you do just 100% writes, we do about 120 to 170K writes. Okay, I'm running short of time, so quickly saying why I love Aerospike as a DevOps guy. Installation, 
simple rpm minus i star rpm as in in the folder or dpkg whatever works on centos debian ubuntu red hat blah 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 uh, configuration as a base package you just want to try it out you don't have to do anything you just do a start service start, aerospike start it, it comes up you need to add a note what do you do nothing you just make ensure that all your nodes have the exact same configuration by default you we use multicast and they just join the cluster and they work if you are trying it out on Amazon, you have to add the mesh configuration. And yeah, that's a bit of manual work. But yeah, again, it works. So next time your dev team is trying out a NoSQL solution, or if you are already using a NoSQL solution and have problems, go to aerospike.com, try out the free community edition. Uh, some of your companies might have, you know, they want open source. So expect some news there in coming days. Sure. Thank you.